1954, Eunice Williams, as she was known then, took a summer job at the Tasty Diner in downtown Silver Spring. Then the restaurant had only been around for six years. Little did she know, she would spend an entire career serving food to customers at this beloved eating establishment. And it's still here today, thanks in part to Eunice. Today, the Tasty Diner is tucked away at the corner of Cameron Street and Ramsey Avenue in downtown Silver Spring. But when it first opened, it sat more prominently along Georgia Avenue, where Discovery Communications World Headquarters was built. Eddie Warner was the original owner. He operated a chain of Tasty Diners in the D.C. suburbs. Surviving today are establishments in Bethesda, Laurel, and this one in Silver Spring. Built in 1946, the original Silver Spring structure featured a classic railroad car design, which was assembled on site by one of the most successful diner manufacturers, Jerry O'Mahony. Six years after it opened, high schooler Eunice Williams began waitressing during her summers off. After more than 60 years, she's still there. I like everything about working here. It's a regular customer, a lot of regular customers. That's Norman Ramsey, Eunice's husband. He says his wife's success was rooted in her ability to read her customers' minds. See somebody coming, she'd have a breakfast on the, she'd call it in before they got in the door. Because they ordered the same thing every day. <laughs> One customer will not want butter on the toast and yeah, she's, she's different, good at just, that. Uh, just different things that you know that what, what they want and how they want their coffee. A Diet Coke. We go out someplace. And she sees somebody, and then she don't know her name. She says, I don't know, that's ham and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what they eat, but not what their name is. <laughs> Was this yours? Yes, it is. I enjoy being around people. They're like family to me, you know? Bring the kids, and then their kids have come back and bring their kids. And I want the kitty pine cake with a chocolate milk. Okay. Uh, he wants his egg fried. Somebody called me to the Oh, that's too bad. Eunice and Norman married in 1958. They met at the Tasty Diner when he worked as a vending machine supplier. I had a cigarette machine in the diner here, and I used to service it and talk to her. And then we went over a date and went to Silver Theater. We saw the horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> and my life's been horror ever since. <laughs> In the 1980s, the Silver Spring Tasty Diner was in jeopardy when the redevelopment of the downtown was being planned. Eunice led the charge to save the place that was so special to so many. We got a petition, and people signed it, signed it, and... She's the one who started the name. She had a shirt, Save the Diner. <laughs> she had a lot of names on that list. A lot of people wanted that diner. The effort was successful, and in June of 2000, the historic cab was relocated to its current location. Eunice was given her very own hard hat for the occasion. She recalls how she felt at that time. It was sad from leaving down there, but we saved it. It had been worse if we hadn't moved it. After the move, Eunice was given these two jukeboxes from the original diner. While they no longer work, the song names bring back memories. Uh, I liked all of them. <laughs> it's not the same anymore. It's not like it was. Also in her collection are some unique tips she's received over the years. This is a ring. And what does she think when she'd find one of these on the table? It would be neat. <laughs> Today, Eunice works the morning shift four days a week, always going the extra mile for every one of her customers. Just listen to this story about one of her current regulars. Dave comes in every morning, and, and I, I set him up, he's ready to go whenever. And if he don't come in, um, I call him, because he's, he lives across the street over here. And one time he was down sick, and uh, if they're sick, she checks all. <laughs> yeah. Well, you keep that then. You just get used to seeing the same people each day. 
Most of very nice waitress. Very nice person, too. She's always cheery, always has a, a good attitude, and, uh, you know, people come in here and they try to be fast, and uh, she she does that, but she does it with a smile. And uh, But I, what's, what's uh, so pleasant about her is that she really enjoys her work. So, uh, you know, not all of us can say that. So, yeah, big asset to Montgomery County. I don't know. I've just done a, done a job, and I enjoy it. I enjoy working. I enjoy being around people. It is that enjoyment that keeps her coming back every day. But there is a secret to her staying power. The secret is to keep moving. You, if, you, if you give up and sit down and say, I can't do this and I can't do that, I don't like that. How long will I keep working? As long as I can keep moving, I'm doing good. <laughs>